another reason I wanted to stop traveling was I have a daughter, and uh, my husband and I wanted to raise our daughter together. <laughs> Strange concept. <laughs> and she's 15 now. Yes, I have to say, it's not easy being a teenager. I kind of feel sorry for her. She recently sprained both of her optic nerves by rolling her eyes at me. <laughs> And she used to listen to me. What happened to that? Now she only takes the advice of her peers. So um, I give her friend Isabella $10 a week to tell her to stand up straight. <laughs> and boys are starting to come into the picture. That's gonna be such a nightmare. She always had bad taste. Really, even in Jimboree, she liked the little boy with the low diapers. <laughs> The sexting? Hmm. Well, I know, but it's hard to tell someone not to do something when you've done it yourself. <laughs> well, it was a long, long time ago, and it was on an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> but I'm trying to not make the same mistakes my parents made. They were so overprotective. Oh my gosh, my tricycle had seven wheels, you know, <laughs> and a driver. My parents wouldn't even push me on the swing. They'd just sit me on the swing and run back and forth and say, it looks similar to this. <laughs> and you can't protect a child. Things happen out in the world. Molly was, her name is Molly, so let's call her Molly. Um, <laughs> she was about eight years old. We're in a car, and uh, the man in the car in back of me hated me because I was driving too slowly, and he was in a hurry, and it was so important that he get to the red light in front of me. And he starts honking at me and couldn't stand it anymore. And finally he came alongside of me and gave me the finger in the window. Oh. Is that terrible? I know, and Molly saw it. And she said, Mommy, why did Daddy make that sign at you? <laughs> and the mother-daughter relationship is always a little bit tense, but we get along great. There was, okay, there was one time I have to tell you about. We were in London because my husband, Martin, his name is Martin, so let's call him Martin. His <laughs> we were in London, he was, he's English, and we were visiting his parents, and I had had enough. So um, <laughs> I decided to take Molly on a little trip to France and to Germany, do some sightseeing, and they check your passports very carefully when you're going through the border, because they want to make sure you're not kidnapping a child. And Molly and I had just had a tremendous argument because she wouldn't put on her jacket. Because it's winter, why would you put on a jacket? And she was so angry at me. And we're going through the passport control, and the officer looked at me and then looked at Molly and said, is this your mother? And Molly said, yes. And he said, is she a good mother? And Molly said, no, I hate her. And the officer said, you can go, you're her mother. She's growing up. Oh, I remember when her favorite game was hide and seek. It was my favorite game too because I didn't look for her right away. <laughs> but she's in the 10th grade. High school's almost over. It gets so expensive. Luckily, Martin and I thought ahead. And when Molly was a baby, we, we put away some money for bail. <laughs> so, going to do the, the day she leaves the house. It's going to be excruciating. I was talking to my friend Cindy about it, and she said, you know what, Rita, don't worry, because college is only four years, and then they come home and they live with you for the rest of their lives. <laughs> because she has a son. Wait, do you, you hear? He went to Ivy League College, came home, lives in the basement, and he's a bouncer. Not at a nightclub, he just has a ball and he likes to bounce it. <laughs> and there are gonna be no jobs anyway. I mean, what's Molly gonna do? I was trying to think what the world is gonna need in the future, and I think what Molly should be is a tattoo remover. Because a lot of people are going to be happy with the decisions they made in their youth. And some people are going to say, you know, I like French toast. I don't know why I seared it into my forehead. 